a lifelong Washington football team fan, it's, it's always tough to come to Dallas. <laughs> we've had some really, uh, we've, well, um, it's true. We, uh, there have been some games we've lost to you. There's, a, uh, there's some games that we've lost to you during Thanksgiving that are just, well, they're, they're nightmares that reoccur. <laughs> well, what you should know this week uh, is that um, if, if you, for those of you out there too who might be watching anywhere in the world, um, if you want to see a football game, great opportunity this week in D.C. Uh, the Detroit Lions and the Washington football team are playing, and it is, you can get a ticket <laughs> for $5. <laughs> it's cheaper to watch those two football teams than it is to go to Frozen! This, you know, stay calm. Okay. You got to live with Jerry Jones. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. You okay? No, go on. You keep him. Okay? I got Snyder, who's a piece of shit. You got your own piece of shit, okay? No, 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 no. I'm not having a discussion. Ball game's over. I just called my guy a piece of shit. Your guy's a piece of shit. If you don't realize that Jerry Jones, the rest of the country looks at Jerry Jones and goes, fuck you. So get it? All right? You do? Oh, good. That's good news. Except for the guy up there. <laughs> it's funny. God. That is funny, but what a prick he is. Uh, he said, there are only two problems with living in Richmond, Virginia. Number one, you're surrounded by fans of the Washington Shithouses football team. <laughs> I understand that. I fully do. Okay? You're lucky you maybe came from somewhere else, fucker. But I'm stuck with them. That's what I got. That's what God gave me in this veil of tears. I target for tonight. Sorry, but it's you, Lewis. You were whining. It's fine. You were whining way too fucking much about your disappointment with Carson Wentz and your beloved Washington football team, now known as the Commanders. Fuck you, he said. That's it. It's, I don't call them the Commanders. They're the Commodes. Don't pull that shit here in Detroit, Lewis. You're at ground zero of NFL hell. Seriously, Ford Field, home of our shitty Lions, is like two blocks away. If you weren't aware, Lewis, I'm aware. Oh, I'm fucking aware. My, John Bowman, who used to open for me, was this psychotic Detroit Lion fan, and I watched a ton of games, and we would go back and forth, uh, who, uh, you know, um, my friend, between the games. And it would be every time we would go from Washington to Detroit, it would be, oh, look, Detroit just had a pass intercepted. Then we go to Washington. Oh, they just scored a touchdown against Washington. Oh, they just scored a touchdown against Detroit. Oh, and we go back and forth. We could not even make it so that we saw anything worth a shit. <laughs> so I know a lot about Matthew Stafford. And I used to say, I want Matthew Stafford. I've had 18 quarterbacks in two years. Got it? 18. Okay? At least you had somebody who fucking pretended to be able to play. If you weren't, uh, Matthew Stafford was here, we traded him and he wins a fucking Super Bowl like fucking immediately. <laughs> yet, uh, <laughs> and yet the Lions also got a previous Super Bowl QB for him. One Jared Goff, Jared Goof. <laughs> but he's got hands smaller than a fucking newborn. And if you missed it, they finished second to last with him. Lewis, the only luck these asshole lines have is bad. Are you aware of the current owner, the Ford family? Yes, Lewis, that fucking Ford family purchased the lines the same day that JFK was assassinated. <laughs> I did not know that. So, Lewis, go blow yourself if you think Wentz is the worst football thing to happen. Unless you're commodes end up losing to the fucking Detroit Lions next season. You know, I hope they play next year. They deserve to play each other. Seriously.
fucking unbelievable. I don't give a My team has Dan Snyder, too, okay? You've got Ford. I've got Dan Snyder. He's been investigated for a harassment culture and the fact that financially he may have been fucking with the books. And, and this asshole, okay? <laughs> bitch, bitch, bitch. But this fucker, Albert Hainsworth, was this massive fucking defensive guy. Massive! And years ago, before anybody thought of paying $100 million to anybody playing football, he paid him $100 million bucks. And he lasted fucking, he didn't even play. He said he didn't want to play. They were doing a 3-4 defense, a 4-3 defense. Doesn't matter, he had no defense. And he would say, I'm not playing that. And fuck him, we got $100 million, walked away. That's Dan fucking Snyder, okay? We could combine both teams, we're not going to win anything. So shut the fuck up. <laughs>